Hey everybody, welcome back to the 3D Print Corner. I'm Jason and uh, this is The Corner. So today is going to be a little different than most of my videos. Today I want to talk to you about why I think you should be pre-ordering the Kadama Obsidian. Um, you know, so let's, let's just kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, obviously the Kickstarter has ended. It was incredibly successful. Um, I can't remember how much they raised, but it was well above their goal. Um, so it's now in a pre-order process. Uh, with the pre-orders expected, I believe it's January, they're expected to go out. So let's uh, kind of take a look quick at the models that they're offering. So they are still offering that base model. That is going to be $149 on pre-order. They are offering the next level up, which is their plus level. Uh, that's $199. And then they are offering a $249 model, which is their deluxe. So the base level is pretty much a base level printer. Uh, it's not a heated bed, but it is a removable bed. It does still have the lights. It's still the same cabinet as everything else, but there's no LCD. Um, you're going to be printing tethered. Then you step up to that next level, and now you've got an LCD. You've got an SD card slot. You can print through USB. And then you step up to that top level, and this is where it kind of starts to get interesting. At $249, there's, there's a fair amount of printers in this particular price range. Most of them are kits. But the fact that this one's fully assembled and ready to go out of the box, I think is awesome. Um, you're getting a better LCD, you're getting Wi-Fi connections, you're getting app support from the uh, Android or Apple apps. Um, it's fantastic. And you, with that camera, so I'm a little mixed on some of these. The heated bed, I think, is great. Uh, with the camera, uh, if the app that they develop for the phone is, or for tablet, is good, People are going to use that camera a lot just to kind of monitor their prints while they're out of the house. Um, you know, constantly when I have to leave and there's a print running back here, I really want to know what's going on with it. I really want to know, did it fail? Did it not fail? Um, to be able to just pull it up on my phone and look, that's awesome. Um, if that app also allows for you to make fine adjustments, which they're saying it should, um, that would be great too to make temp adjustments or speed adjustments or things like that through that app. That's going to make that very valuable and it's also going to make that camera itself very valuable. Uh, the other thing is for people like me that are going to want to record time lapses and stuff like that, that camera will be incredibly valued so that I can share more stuff with you guys. So those are their base uh, three models and you know at these price points to me, that printer, it's, it's ready to go out of the box. And with a 15 by 15 by 15 centimeter build volume, that's a pretty good size build volume. For, for an example, this one here is 200 by 200 uh, by 180 millimeters, so 20 by 20 by 18. So it's just a tiny bit bigger, about two, about two inches bigger um, on the X and the Y. That's, that's a pretty decent build volume for that price. And you don't have to put it together at all. You just take it out of the box, you hook a few things up, plug it in. It's good, it's ready to go. That's awesome. So now there's a couple reasons that people didn't, uh, didn't back this on Kickstarter. So I think the first one was it was Kickstarter. A lot of people are worried when they see a Kickstarter, is it gonna fail, is it gonna succeed? I don't know. I didn't know. Um, but I think that's something that, it's, it's a legitimate fear that people have. Uh, then there's the few uh, issues that were had with the Trinus. So they had some issues. They delivered the Trinus a little bit late. Um, I didn't think it was that bad, but some people did. Um, but then they also uh, had some issues with support after the fact and being able to actually staff their support enough. So the last one I think that got a lot of people is a lot of people are ordering this as their first printer. It's a long time to wait for a first printer. When I got my first printer, which was this one here, um, I had it in two days because I, I couldn't wait. I decided what I wanted. I wanted it now. And I think that was something that got a lot of people going. So what are the reasons that you should go ahead and now pre-order? So after that successful Kickstarter that they just had with the Obsidian, they've got the money. They're going to deliver. Um, and they're probably going to deliver at least relatively close to on time. I'm not going to be surprised if we see a little bit of a delay. But I think it's going to be on time. I don't think it's going to be super late. So obviously, if the Kickstarter goes a little late, then that pre-order is probably going to get a little late as well. Um, which, it's not that big of a deal, but I think it does get frustrating to some people. Um, but to me, I, I think 
it's worth it at this point because you know now they're going to deliver. So the price points are still really low. Yes, they're a little bit more than the price points were on the Kickstarter, but I think that when it goes to full production, I'm not going to be surprised to see those price points go up a little bit more yet. Um, so you're going to get a little bit better deal right now. Um, so, like I said, there were some issues when they delivered the Trinus. Uh, Konama has actually expressed multiple times via their Facebook page and some videos and things like that that they've, they've addressed the issues they had with customer service. Um, they made sure they have enough people to actually staff it because there's a lot of these printers going out and there's going to be a lot of people that it's their first printer, so they're going to have a lot of questions coming in. Um, and they're, they're claiming that they've addressed that. Um, the other one is the delay, and we kind of already talked about that. I'm not going to be surprised to see it have a little bit of a delay, but I don't think it's going to be uh, a whole month, which I think is all the Trinus was delayed. Um, so that's good. And then there will be a month in between these two. So you've got the Kickstarter coming out, and that is set right now to deliver in December. Pre-orders are now set to deliver in January. So in that month, most people are going to get that Kickstarter printer, and they're going to be printing and printing and printing and printing, which is going to expose some issues in the software. Um, I don't expect to see very many hardware changes between the Kickstarter release and the pre-order release. Where I expect to see the most changes is going to be in the software and fixing some software bugs. Um, and they're going to get exposed pretty quickly, which means the pre-order, you're probably going to get a better printer than the people who went on Kickstarter. Um, so give it a shot. It, it's, it's, if you're looking to get a printer, um, it's, it's relatively inexpensive. Yes, there's a lot of printers in this price point like we talked about before. But do you really want to have to go through the tedious process of assembling every little bit yourself? Um, it's, it, it takes a lot of time. If you don't get it right, you're going to be taking things apart. And a lot of these are low-quality Chinese imports, which means the parts don't always line up right. And especially printed parts may be pulled from the bed and, and all these kind of things that, that you won't even have to worry about. Literally, lift it out of the box, set it down, plug it in, print. You can't get a whole lot better than a plug-and-play printer at most $250. So I say it's worth it on a pre-order. I thought it was worth it on a Kickstarter. Um, so definitely, I, if you're at all interested, go out, give it a shot. It's, it's relatively low dollar investment for something that could have a huge return in usability and functionality. So yeah, I say if, if you're at all on the fence, it's, it's worth it um, with what they're claiming. As long as they live up to what they're claiming, which I really think they're going to, I think it's worth it, and I think you should definitely go out and pre-order. All right, everybody. So this is Jason. If you want to get updates on what's coming out in the near future, follow my Twitter, which is going to be right here. Uh, it's at the 3D Corner. And uh, also you can follow me on Instagram at the same, the same thing, at the 3D Corner. Um, and then uh, if you're liking the content, definitely subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, throw me a like as well. That would be great. Um, I just want to get feedback from you guys, so leave me some comments below. Leave me your thoughts on what the Obsidian is doing right now. Uh, you know, there's a lot of buzz around this printer. I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts are. All right, everybody. This is Jason. This is 3D Printing Corner. Everybody have a good day.